Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about orbital perturbations. This topic is present in the subject satellite communications. Orbital perturbation. The movement of the satellite in its orbit is determined by the forces acting on the center of the mass. In the Keplerian orbit, it is assumed that the Earth is a uniform spherical mass and the only force acting is the centrifugal force. Here it is represented. The orbital parameters can be obtained from the position and the velocity vectors of the satellite by a geometric transformation. A satellite must remain in geostationary orbit once it is injected. But in practice, there are many secondary influences that changes the orbit slowly over a period of time. Perturbations of the orbit are the result of various forces which are exerted on the satellite other than the forces of attraction of the central, spherical and homogeneous body. These forces mainly consist of non-spherical components of terrestrial attraction, the attraction of sun and moon, solar radiation pressure, aerodynamic drag and atmospheric drag. Effects of non-spherical earth. The earth is not a perfect spherical homogeneous body. The earth is flattered at the poles and there is non-uniform mass distribution. This is known as oblateness. The orbital period considering Earth's oblateness is called anomalistic period. The anomalistic period is given by P anomalistic is equal to 2 pi divided by n seconds where n is in radians per second. The mean motion of satellite is given by Kepler's third law by relation n is equal to square root of mu divided by a cube where a is semi-major axis. This semi-major axis a is affected by Earth's oblateness. Attraction of the moon and the sun. The moon and the sun each create a gravitational potential. The gravitation pulls sun and moon have negligible effect on low orbiting satellites. But they affect satellites in geostationary orbit. Solar radiation pressure. The solar panels constitute practically the whole of the apparent surface of the satellite with communication satellites of low power. The solar panels are not extensive and the ratio SFX A divided by M is of the order of 2 into 10 power minus 2 meter square per kg where SFX A is the satellite surface in the direction of the sun and M is the mass of the satellite. A 
aerodynamic and atmospheric drag. The aerodynamic drags are very significant at low altitude. That is 200 to 400 km. It is due to the very high velocity. The aerodynamic force is exerted on the satellite to its velocity. The atmospheric drag is directly related to the surface area and mass of the satellite. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.